the white man? Yeah, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. To like me to be. Yo, if you up with me on this Wednesday morning, I just want to start off by saying I superly appreciate you just for giving me some of your time. Coming through my channel, coming to kick it with me. Those who click on that notification when it pop up on y'all phone and beam drop the video is super dope. I just want to say I appreciate y'all. I got a banger for y'all today. Just stick tuned, stay with me, and I promise y'all we're going to develop and we're going to deliver today. If you're new to my channel, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to get alerted when videos come out. Love, peace, and blessings, and let's get it. So to kick this video off, I'll go in with a one and a half purple guard. I'm completely closed on my wall, 1919s, assisting it with an Andes Master Blade. I'm taking long, deep strokes. I want to make sure that I'm ensuring that this guard is feeding through the hair and I'm passing through correctly. Also getting clean passes and getting clean strokes throughout the hair to achieve the natural desired length. Shout out to my dog Dwight. This be so it's so locked in. I'm so focused. I'm rocking back and forth in the chair. Y'all finna get bars today. So my next step is to use my Babeless FX Skeletals hitting the bottom of the C cup area. He gonna want a real burst to taper, and I'm ensuring that that's gonna be there. Next step, go in open, then completely close, and most of that beard part is faded and out my way. My next step is to go in with my one and a half guard, seeing I cut them close with it. I can open it up against the grain and create that as a devoking area, and then I go in completely open with my Babeless FXs in a rainbow-like shape, about a half of an inch. I'm gonna create a nice panel for me to be able to fade in between. I'm halfway closed here. Now I'm fully closed. My next step is to go in with my 1 8 guard, which is equivalent to my number 1 guard, and I got it completely open, and then I got it halfway here, you gonna see me drop it slow and slow, and low and low, just so I can create the transition, seeing that a lot of his hair shift backwards, I'm, you know, always in between my levers. Just taking my time right here on this 1 8 guard, and I'm just trying to ensure that I can debulk, but at the same time create a transition. And I'm back in my 1 16th right here, and I'm just switching in between my levers, staying completely adjusted. The lower I am into the fade, the more closed I am on my clippers, and the more open I am, the higher part I am into the fade. So I'm just taking my time creating slight transition. I'm knowing that I'm fitting it in a small pocket, but I need it to look bursted. So at this point, I'm just basically clearing out this panel and making it look as clean as possible. Then stretching the skin, cause like I said, it's in a small pocket, but I'm trying to make it look super bursted. My next step is to hit the back area and I'm going up maybe half of an inch in the lower neck area and I just want to clear this panel, open it up and create room for transition. Just remember, stay focused. Have fun doing what you're doing. Always brush that head or reset yourself. I'm completely open, about a half of an inch and as you guys can see, I'm creating that fade panel for myself. Now I'm completely open, using my one eighth guard, taking my time, feeding the head slowly but surely through them, halfway closed here. And now I'm fully closed. And I did that to one side, now it's time to come over here and do it to the opposite side. That's the most important thing when you, you know, fade in the back area, you gotta pay attention to the do-rag lines, but also just pay attention to how high you doing. Cause some people consider, you know, medium tapers to be high tapers or whatever the case is. You know, everybody taper area gonna be different, so just take your time, create that room, create that transition, and let's make it happen. That's how it's always gonna be on this channel, it's always gonna be a little different. So now, I'm just basically keeping everything consistent and ensuring that this transition is done. Slowly but surely gonna win that race. Going left and right just to ensure that I can get this transition right. 
taking my time Brushing one and fade one Completely locked in Enjoying doing what I'm doing And just, you know, reaping the benefits of all of the education You know, that I put forth into the game This is, you know, this is like nature to me now now my 116th guard halfway closed. It's on a blend in between that one eighth and that one, that one and a half. And I just wanna get, you know, it all the way together and make sure that my transition fully tight, guard off, and then fade in the bottom of the table. I'm just trying to really pick up on this hair growth. You know, this hair growth pattern is different in the back than it is on the sides. So I'm just trying to really ensure that I can create a nice transition, but at the same time, give it a feathered effect. As you see me brushing the hair side to side, trying to figure out, you know, the pattern and which way it's going. And as you guys can see, we got a nice, nice, nice nape area fade. Super clean. Duffy. Now on this side, I just basically like to encourage my people Stay super focused and stay super locked in to what you're doing And always having fun I go through my comment section, I read so many times Man, it sound like this cat rapping, it sound like this cat rapping I'm not rapping at all, I want a big shout out to all of my producers But at the end of the day, I literally have the gift of jab To a lot of people who don't know what that mean Or people who do know what that mean The gift of jab is the ability to speak with eloquence and fluency At a high frequency, and that's something that I possess I possess and I possess it well I always educate I want to get a game back the way that I never received it And that's super important to me If I'm in this lane, if I'm in a YouTube lane Where I influence people I will only want to influence people to be great I might talk your head off sometimes But I'm going to make sure you visually see What I'm trying to do in every predicament throughout the haircut I want to make you get from point A to point Z I don't want you skipping around But I want you to have a full ride with me I want you to understand the theory behind why I do what I do, why I systematically set up the way it is, why my linings come out the way that they do, why I always cut as consistent as I do, and it's all because it's a different level of humbleness, a different level of hunger, invested education, I'm super locked in, I'm super focused, and I'm telling y'all, this year, it's gonna be ugly for them on YouTube, I'm super focused, and I plan on taking that crown, that's what I'm doing every year around, I'm giving y'all bangers back to back. The education is unmatched. My energy is literally in its own lane. My level of precision, come on, bro. We're not even finna play them games. We super humble enough to, you know, respect our competition. But at the end of the day, we super locked in, we focus, and they gotta get up with us. So my next step is to go in with my M spritz. I'm basically spraying at the front of the lineup, spraying at the top, the bottom, and the back of the beard on both sides, ensuring that I can lock in a nice holding spray, make sure that these hairs are frozen and locked in. So once I go in and use my trimmers and my razor, I'm gonna be able to get a real solidified hard line, but also get a nice, clean, crispy line. And now doing the most important part of a waver haircut, which is scanning over the top of the hair, cleaning up all of the roach legs, all of the loose hairs to ensure that desired length my next step i want to go in the back of the neckline do my slants i want to ensure that these are super prominent once i get to the tip of the ear i'll convert to the corner of my blade to work myself around the ear super clean super nice taking my time ensuring that this line is clean now the back of the beard line, I wanna just basically drop this vertical bar and I wanna drop it straight down. I wanna give it some type of whiff. So I ain't trying to take too much hair from the back area, but I wanna ensure that the back of the beard line is super prominent. It's just frame out work for me. It's helping me set myself up for that kill shot. You know, I'm super locked in. I can see my frame out work. I can almost see my lineup without even doing it just because my frame out work is so solidified. So repeating the same steps. Remember, hair liners is like common denominators. Whatever you do to the bottom of that fraction you want to do to the top of the fraction and in terms of a lineup you want to do the same thing or treat it the same way whatever you do to one side you do to the other side just to ensure some type of symmetricalness and ensure that the lining is as close as possible in terms of it being real 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 straight and symmetrical
break into the front of the lineup I'm noticing that the front of the lineup is lighter than the average But it's not light to where he's losing his hair It's just his less dense area I break myself into the left I meet myself in the middle And then I basically want to go in and hit my vertical bar now And you can tell around the lineup right now Like how it got some type of ghost effect to it You can see my 90 degree is solidified Now I'm finna break into my Chicago C But you can really see how lighter the ends of the hair is and you don't want to keep a person like this hair super thick on the end because not only is it going to be wiry or curly but the lineup won't last so most of the time the lineup is going to be a little bit shorter than the waves and things of that nature just so you can ensure some longevity when it comes to the lineups and that's what these waver guys want they want a nice taper and a clean lineup they want to ensure longevity throughout their haircuts so i start in the middle work myself all the way to my right side keep everything consistent and i'm lining up even the lighter areas as if they super dense like the rest of the head to ensure that my client has a real clean natural sharp lineup you don't want to dig into somebody lineup just because it's light you don't want to overly press you don't want to overly play your part keep it consistent let things come natural and i promise you i promise you if the game gonna reward you for everything that you put into it stay consistent stay humble and i promise you these haircuts gonna come out nice my next step is to go in with my boy sean cuss head color enhancement card assisted with my color no drip and my compressor, the beam team coilless compressor, applying pressure and laying the law like a legislator. I'm super focused right now. I got the color going. I'm applying it correctly and I'm ensuring that my boy gonna have some type of pop, some type of flash, some type of flood to this lineup. This is my homie Kills and anytime we in a shop together, anytime we linked up, it's one of those. This like a family thing. This OTF thing right here. So I'm gonna always make sure I overly beam my homies. I'm gonna make sure he always super crispy. And I just really want to say I just appreciate you, bro, for coming through, letting me record this and give some game to YouTube. It's super dope. So I want to just keep everything consistent, using my car, spraying at a three to four inch distance radius, and taking my time. My next step is to go in with my barber magic pencil. I want to do my vertical bars right now. I want to ensure that these vertical bars are completely straight. And I'm basically using the barber magic pencil the same way women they use their concealer for their eyebrows. They'll go behind, they'll clean their eyebrows up behind that. They'll put any fill in or color that they want to add to the eyebrows to give it some density some darkness and then after that they'll go behind that with a concealer pencil and a concealer pencil will be able to give it a nice sharper cleaner looking image and that's the objective to give it a nice cleaner sharper looking image and make the lineup pop with more flare more flash you know that's just what people book me for they book me for precision but they also book me for that pop that flash that's what they like they like that consistency and I know it's not for everybody and I'm not here to say it's for everybody But it's for my clients That's what they booked me for I mean, I can't be mad at that my next step is to go in using my Babus FX Skeletal Trimmers and I want to blend this line out. This is the last step that women do use on their eyebrows when using concealer. They go in with a blending brush and they blend out that white line just to give it some nice contrast off of the skin. You want it to bounce off of the skin correctly. You want the contrast there, but you also want the lining to look as smooth and as crispy as possible. And that's exactly what I'm doing taking my time slowly but surely making my way throughout this city and i'm just ensuring that this lineup is super crispy and that my boy is gonna be taken care of i'm super focused if you enjoying this video please man hit that like button drop a fire emoji in that comment section and just let me know that you up with me let me know that you here for the wednesdays let me know that you here to watch beam go crazy because that's what i'm here for i'm here just to interact with y'all i'm here to, to, to show y'all the game i'm here to show y'all what I do daily and this is just something that's daily to me so you know I just enjoy bringing the game to y'all My next step is to lean them all the way back, angle my razor at a 45 degree angle and bring everything back to the top of the line, ensuring that you know I'm gonna get this line as crispy as possible. Remember, whenever you're dealing with a razor or you using a razor, take your time. I want y'all to understand and know that you're dealing with a sharp object, but if used correctly with the right amount of pressure, the right amount of angles, you can always get nice, desired, crispy lines like this. I'm super, 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 super clean, man. 
Super nasty right there Stretching the skin angle in that razor at a 45 degree angle And putting my boy on beam I'm super, super zoned in right now This is it for me It's me in the game This how you know I'm having fun My energy there, the music there The commentary there, the education there The haircut looking gorgeous Like, come on, bro This is it Angle that razor at a 45 degree angle, stretch the skin, bring everything back to its highest point Just to ensure that you know we can get this beard as clean as possible It ain't just about the haircut, it's about every hair in this haircut Every line matters to me, and I'm just superly focused on ensuring that I can get him as crispy as possible Anytime they come in my chair or in my shop, the objective is to get them a haircut that they've never seen before Or get them cleaner than they've ever seen This is the definition of casket sharp I am that keeping it consistent stretching the skin angling them out hitting the bottom of this area cleaning it up making sure all of the dark areas is gone all of the extra hair on my client's face is out the way super clean now I want to go behind and do that one step again which is float over the top of the waves I want to ensure that all of these loose hairs are knocked off I want to ensure that it's down to that desired length But I also want to give it that picture in the barbershop look That when clients look at me that's getting their hair cut by other barbers They just like man that dude crazy over there That's what I want to do And now I just want to slow it down to show y'all When it come to these angles come on dog. Using two teeth in the corner of my blade Slowly but surely working my way in the taper area Giving it more of a feather effect And just flicking out, you know And just detailing, that's what I'm here for Detailing is super important So take your time, fellas, look at that Glass Now repeating the same steps on this side as well Clearing this panel out And cleaning up some of the bottom of this taper area Cause that's one thing I want y'all to notice All tapers ain't gonna be the same Not all the time both sides are gonna be the same But you do what you can Just to ensure that they can be as close as possible And now cleaning up the forehead area You don't want no residue, no spritz None of that left on the forehead area You want it as straight as possible, as clean as possible And that's what we got it like in the imperfect world, we do get clients that come in looking crazy by the head, but I tell y'all in every video, it's barbers, it's up to us to change that outcome. What you invest in, your education, what you put forth into the game will always reward you and pay you back. Without further ado, let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section, hashtag Glass Glacier Gang. Y'all know what time it is. We super focused, we super locked in. If you was able to make it through the 17 to 18 minute video, I appreciate you so much. Anytime y'all up on a Wednesday kicking it with me, y'all don't own me this time at all. But the fact that y'all willing to click on my notifications and watch my content is super dope to me. I appreciate y'all so much and may God bless. How long is that? Two, three months? I don't know. Last time I got my shit cut. All right, YouTube. That was a two-month wolf. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Super banger today.